I'm going to talk about the Ford Quick Connects used on the heater hoses when installed at the factory. When I had to change my heater hoses, the new hoses came without the Quick Connects, so I needed to buy them individually. Um, here's a good shot of the Quick Connect. I bought the recommended tool from the counterman. However, I was unable to release the Quick Connect from the pipes and the heater core on the truck. Looking at the aftermarket Quick Connect, I studied it. And it's a lot easier to figure out how to remove it when you have it in your hand like this. If you look on top here, here's the clip. This white clip is held in place onto the black assembly. And to remove it, I found that all you have to do, even while it's assembled on the truck, you have to push this fitting onto the heater core nipple or onto the nipple that goes to the rear of the truck. This is on a 99 Ford Expedition. So you would push it in the direction of the pipe while holding it there it's going to cause these teeth to open up allowing you to squeeze when you squeeze this in just like this there's enough room believe it or not with the pipe in place because if you notice that the diameter where the pipe goes is much smaller than the diameter of where this white clip is when you squeeze this this will allow the white clip and the black assembly to separate if you just give me a moment here I'm trying to do this with one hand when they separate this will stay on the pipe right here. This will stay on the pipe and this black piece, the black assembly will separate with the hose away from the nipple on the heater core. Now you can go in and you can separate, open up the white clip just like this. <clears throat> when you're able to separate and pull it off the pipe. And when you do that, you can put the two pieces back together. But before you do, just know that there's an, an O-ring deep inside. You want to make sure that the O-rings did not stay on the pipes. If they stay on the pipes, you need to remove the O-rings and put them back into the black assembly. The aftermarket setup will be just the hoses without the quick connect. <clears throat> you want to make sure that the O-rings did not stay on the nipples. You can assemble your quick connect onto the replacement hose Again, the, the, this will all be assembled for you. And this is just for the removal process. So anytime you want to separate it, just squeeze the white clips. First pushing the black assembly onto the nipple. The, the clips will clear the black assembly. And they'll separate just like this. There's, there's enough room under there to do it. So once I realized how it came apart, <clears throat> the, uh, the job was a lot easier. Thanks for watching.